Hey everyone, welcome back to another Afrony Hungo video blog. This time I'm going to be talking about Japanese delivery services. The reason I think that they're worth mentioning is because they're awesome, and I like talking about awesome things. So, let's get into it. First of all, just restaurants in general. I've mentioned this before in my haircut video, but the food is prepared nicely. Like, it actually looks like the picture, usually. And, uh... The proportions are right. So that's great about delivery. The second thing is they have more places that do delivery, such as McDonald's. That's right, you can get McDonald's delivered to you. The uh, KFC delivers, and then of course the pizza places. Another reason why I think Japanese delivery services are so awesome is because they're always on time. And if they're not on time, then you get free stuff. Like one time I ordered Domino's pizza, uh, and um, the guy was three minutes late maybe? And I didn't even realize he was late. I was just like, yay, my pizza's here. And he came he came inside, took his shoes off, and standing in just his socks in the, the doorway of the seminar house, he just like bowed at me three times saying he was so sorry for being late. And uh, he gave me like a $5 off voucher for my next purchase. And I was just like, okay, thanks. I didn't even know you were late. So you will always be taken care of. That's basically all across the board in any um, like customer service um, venue in Japan, you're gonna be taken care of. There are a couple of downsides though. Uh, the food is way more expensive than Japan. Like the pizza I ordered was $30 and it was a large, but a Japanese large is like a, an American small. So I basically paid like $30 for personal pizza. But when you're in Japan and you're born in America and you're eating Japanese food, which is good, but like sometimes it's just like God, I need a greasy pizza. The cheese and the meat. And, uh, I want it in my face. So it's worth uh, worth paying the thirty dollars. Another thing that's different uh, between Japan and America when it comes to food delivery is, in America, usually the delivery driver has to use his or her own car, whereas the um, restaurant always has its own delivery vehicle that the delivery people use. Usually, it's a cute little scooter with like a McDonald's M on the front, and it's got like a storage thing in the back for all the food, keep it warm. It's pretty cool. So that's probably a good side if you're like employed as a delivery worker but also a bad side of being employed as a delivery worker in Japan as opposed to being in America is you don't get tips. Japanese people don't tip. They don't tip waiters, they don't tip taxi cab drivers, you don't tip in Japan. So if you get a part-time job as a delivery driver you get the cool little McDonald's scooter but you also get no tips. Also, just like in America, you can order your food online, and uh, the funny thing about that is the Domino's in Japan actually has different websites, like completely different websites, whether you're logging in in Japanese or in English. Because one time I ordered a pizza and it was like an amazing deal, it was like buy a medium, get another medium for free. And um, then I told my Japanese friend about it and he looked it up on the Japanese site and couldn't find it. And we found out that the deal was only being offered on the English sites. So it was like only English speakers living in Japan know about the deal. My Japanese friend was like, that's not fair. White privilege is a son of a bitch. Uh, I wish I could order food right now. I can't reach my phone. Life is impossible. 